Hi, today I will show you how to use the PostGrid plugin in WordPress. First, we will install the plugin from WordPress.org. Let's go to WordPress admin navigation, then plugins, add new. Now I will search the PostGrid by radius theme this is the post grid plugin now i will click install now button installation is done now i will click activate the plugin after activate the plugin you will see the admin navigation like this Let's check the settings. First tab is pop up field selection. This is the pro feature. Then second tab is social share. This is also pro feature. Custom script. You can add custom script here. If any conflict with any theme or plugin, then you can use your own script here. Other settings. This is essential if you want to improve the performance. If your theme has already font or some file, then you can disable it from here. Let's make first grid. I will click add new grid. First, I will give a name of the grid like latest post. Then we see few tabs here. We will build the shortcut using the tabs. Like first tab is query build. We will select the post type like post include exclude. We can include and exclude post by post ID like this divided by comma. This is the limit. We can set how many posts will display. This is the offset. Like if we want to exclude few posts from top of the list then we can use the number here like two then first two post exclude from the list this is the advanced filter all taxonomy will show here first is category we can select a specific category from here like like this we can set select our specific category from here this is the relation between category this is the order we can select create date ascending or descending we can select a specific author post we can select status search a specific keyword search this is the sticky post this is the pro feature second tab is layout setting first tab is layout type we will select which type of layout we want to use like grid after click on the grid layout, sub layout will load here like grid layout 1. Then we can change the column here, how many we want to display in desktop, tab and mobile. Enable pagination. Okay, next we will go to settings tab. We can set category title tag here we can set title limit limit type meta position meta icon show or height meta separator image we can select a specific image size from here image source featured image or first image from the post then image hover animation then Except we can set except limit from here except limit then read more button we can set read more button border radius read more button alignment read more button specific text here we can use our own text in the button then field selection tab we can select which fields we want to display then in style tab we can set a primary color from here Let's select a primary color, then button color. We can set button color, 
बाटन होवार कलर बाटन एक्टिव दिस इज फॉर आइसोटोप बाटन टेक्स्ट कलर व्हाइट टेक्स्ट होवार कलर व्हाइट देन शॉर्टकट हेडिंग फुल एरिया और सेक्शन बैकग्राउंड मार्जिन पैडिंग देन टाइटल कलर फ़ॉन्ट साइज वेट अलाइनमेंट टाइटल हो बार कलर फ़ॉन्ट साइज वेट अलाइनमेंट एक सब कलर फ़ॉन्ट साइज वेट अलाइनमेंट मेटा कलर फ़ॉन्ट साइज वेट अलाइनमेंट नाउ वी कैन क्लिक ऑन पब्लिश बटन वी कैन सी द लेआउट प्रीव्यू हेयर दिस इज़ आवर लेआउट प्रीव्यू लेट्स Call the shortcut in a page. Now we will go to page, add new. We will give a title here of the page, latest post. Then now we will call the shortcut using our Gutenberg add-on. Let's click on the block. Then see this is the post grid block. We can select the post grid block. Now we will select. the shortcut from the right of the block panel let's publish the page now we will check how the shortcut is looking in front end let's go to front end this is the shortcut now see how we can change our layout like we have grid hover layout let's select the layout click save let's see how it is looking in front end this is the grid hover layout we can adjust everything from the shortcut generator now see list layout this is the list layout for list layout we need to adjust the columns Like one column, let's save and see how it is looking front end. This is the list layout. As like this, we can select isotope layout also. Isotope has some specific settings. We can use this, use these settings for isotope layout. Okay, we are done. Thanks for watching our video. If you face any issue, please create a ticket in our website.